Good morning. Uh, I just realized that I think Rudy has scheduled the sprinklers to go off at nine, perhaps as a subtle reminder to me when I'm doing other things to stop and spend time in devotion. Do you have those reminders, uh, those things that, that will, 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 will kind of cue you um, to, to turn and pause and just dwell for a few moments in God's presence? Um, you know, in the, uh, you know, the, the Catholic church, you know, uh, down the street from where I live, I hear the church bells that ring at 750. It must not be 750 cause I'm gone by 750, 650 maybe on a, uh, on a Sunday morning telling the neighborhood nearby that mass will begin in 10 minutes or so. Uh, John Pascarella, I think about every time I hear those uh, bells, because he asked me early on one time, because they live actually from the Catholic Church um, uh, to my house. They live right in between. And so he asked me one time, you know, why doesn't Cross of Hope have, have bells? Aren't we supposed to have bells? <laughs> I laughed and, and uh, have reflected on that ever since. Uh, John, always a good one to journey with there, a blessed memory now. Uh, and we're looking forward to the time when we can celebrate uh, the, you know, memorial service for John here after COVID kind of uh, moves on its way. And we continue to wait for that blessed time uh, of health and healing. Uh, together here, uh, dwelling in God's Word through Christ in our home, and this this time just to share a little bit of devotion together. Um, we're Thursday, April 8th today. Step by step is our invitation to uh, devotion today, inviting our, our attention to the book of Acts, um, which will help kind of guide some of our small group worship uh, journey this Easter season. Uh, so for the next... Uh, Less than 50 days now, but still quite a long time. Um, we'll spend some time in Acts and the Gospel of John. So let's turn together to Acts chapter 2. Uh, we're going to start, we're going to be in verse 42. This kind of foreshadows what we'll hear on Sunday. What we'll hear on Sunday is from chapter 4, um, but this is the first kind of instance in what does it look like to be a, an early community, an early community of faith here. And so Acts 2, we're going to start in verse 42. The young community devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. I love awe and wonder. Many of you know that. All who, were believe, who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Word of God, word of life. Good morning, I see Karen uh, wanting bells. <laughs> Blessings to you, Pastor Heike. Uh, in, let's, in, let's focus on verse 44 as the invitation from Christ in our home bids us, all who believed were together and had all things in common. Here a devotion from Christ in our home. Read along if you got it there at home. Early followers of the risen Jesus were known as people of the way. The way refers to a daily life choice to live in community with Christ as the center. Each day was a new chance for the disciples to turn together to God through the spiritual practice of worship, learning, praying, sharing meals, and caring for those in need. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, people of the way choose life day by day. And just as an aside, uh, um, here in the 10th year of, of, of 11th year of my professional ministry, uh, which may, it may be in itself as an oxymoron, right? But uh, I'm understanding this, uh, that this journey is a way, right? The way of Jesus. It is a daily kind of renewal. Um, we talk about renewing our baptism uh, day by day, um, but following Christ, which is always into community, um, I think you're seeing some of my sermon take shape here <laughs> in real time. Let's continue. Each day can be a new rising for us too, a gift and opportunity to make life-giving choices. 
By God's grace, each day can be Easter as we set our hearts and minds on Christ. Through worship and learning, prayer and hospitality and generosity, we too walk together as people of the way into life overflowing with grace, compassion, and love. May today be an Easter day of new beginnings and abundant life for you. And may the sights and sounds of resurrection and new life you encounter remind you of God's abundant love, step by step and day by day. Let's pray together. Loving God, thank you for today's rising and your promise to make all things new through Christ. Amen. And as this uh, beautiful Thursday unfolds before you, be invited to pray for new believers, uh, those who uh, will, will, for whom God's love will be revealed in new uh, and um, vibrant ways, ways that perhaps inspire awe and wonder. May you find awe and wonder in your day today, um, be captivated by it, and then share that with someone else in your life along the journey. God bless you, my friends. We'll uh, look forward to connecting tomorrow here in devotion as we continue to share the journey together. God bless.